Hello Wanderers and welcome back to Skyrim. Today we're taking a look at a great mod for any maritime build, the Fairheart Player Owned Ship Home by Fremenic on the Xbox. This mod features a fully upgradable player owned ship home called the Fairheart, which also doubles as a form of fast travel along the northern coast, perfect for survival mode. The mod description reads, Become the captain of the Fairheart, a ship you can call home and sail from port to port. To start your journey, talk to Hagnif Hearth Oak at the Solitude Docks. Make sure your coin purse is full, a seaworthy vessel does not come cheap. This mod also includes a quest to find and recruit a first mate, Elfwyn Langcarl, who will allow you to set sail. It has over 350 lines of dialogue, and the mod author is currently looking for voice actors to replace the VA synth voices. The Fairheart can sail to Solitude, Dawnstar, Winterhold, Windhelm, Ravenrock, Telmithrin, and Thirsk. After completing Awakening in the Dawnguard questline, you'll also be able to sail to Castle Volkahar. Hello. I'd like to purchase a ship. Good. We've got a ship available. The Fairheart. She's a carry, like those Podvillite treading vessels they use over in Hag Rock. Don't hold that against her, though. She's still built with true Nord craftsmanship. You won't find a finer ship anywhere in Skyrim, or beyond, for that matter. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new ship. You will be needing a first mate before you can set sail though. Fortunately for you, I know just the right person for the job. Her name's Elfwyn. She's my brother's daughter. Never seen anyone handle a ship like she does. I know sailors twice her age who can learn a thing or two from her. Where can I find her? She's currently on a pilgrimage to the Frost Stones that are found all along the northern shore. It won't be easy to find her. I suggest you follow in her footsteps and make the pilgrimage as well. Here is a map with the locations of the stones marked. May the gods watch over you, friend. What are the free stones? They are ancient rune stones found along the coasts. Some say they were created by Isgrimor and his companions to mark their arrival in Skyrim. Others say they are sites of worship for gents or witches. No one knows for certain. Among Nord sailors who still remember the old ways, it's tradition to make a pilgrimage to the Fruce Stones in honor of Kaina. The Way of the Hawk, as it is known. I made the pilgrimage myself back in my younger days. It is said that those who complete the journey will receive Kain's favor, a must for any who venture out to sea. Um, Hello. The four runestones you'll visit during this pilgrimage are the Hafinger Stone, located on the island north of Ravenscar Hollow, the Dawnstar Stone, located northwest of Dawnstar, the Winterhold Stone, located northwest of Sky Temple Ruins, and the Solstheim Stone, located south of Bristleback Cave at the foot of the waterfall. I find the concept of this mod quite charming, and I really enjoyed completing the small quest to find the first mate by walking the way of the hawk, since it fits in so well with my current build of pilgrim turned pirate in the North Seas. Like I mentioned earlier, this mod also comes in handy during survival mode, where fast travel can be a little bit tricky.
Once you've located and recruited Alphen, you can head back to Solitude and set sail. Your ship will be mostly empty at first, and you can purchase individual upgrades from Hagvid at your own discretion. Welcome back, friend. Elfwyn arrived just before you. I take it your pilgrimage went well. Wonderful. You're all set to set sail now. I'm sure you and Elfwyn will have many a tell to tell in the days to come. Here, take this. It's just a small trinket I picked up back when I still ventured out to sea. I reckon you'll have more need for it than me now. May I grant you fair winds and following seas, my friend. I never knew it would be this beautiful. Someone should really make a painting for this place. Right, so the work never ends. By all means, there are many ways to improve your ship, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your ship decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? I like this mod for its creative gameplay, and I look forward to seeing the changes implemented with future updates, as it holds great potential as well. At a file size of 45 megabytes, I'd say it's earned its spot in my load order. Thank you for joining me for this look at the Fairheart by Fremenit and ported by Will of the Wisp on Xbox. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Until the next one friends, stay safe and happy wanderings!